Yes, I was 14. It's finally made it happen. Oh, shoot. Uh, wrong, wrong channel. Uh, hold on. I'll be back. Uh, sorry about that. I just got a little carried away. Uh, Shrek, he's been, he's been a big part of my life for a while now, so I, that's why I have the Shrek Shrine, you know? So, what is iOS 14 without a Shrek Shrine, you know? So this is the main feature that people are talking about, and, uh, well, maybe not the Shrek Shrine, but the iOS 14 widgets. It's kind of a big deal. It's all over TikTok. So I'm going to be focusing so much on how you can customize your home screen. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top widgets that you can get on your iOS 14 device. And I can show you maybe where you can find the best Shrek images maybe later on. But uh, that's probably for a different video and for a different website. Anyway... Um, yeah, let's get to the video and I'll show you guys some awesome widgets. Now, just so you guys know, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be making videos on awesome ways that you can get even more customization out of the widgets you have. I'm going to be showing you so many cool different like home screen tips and tricks, how to hide home screen pages and so many things like that. There is so much to this home screen. I'll be showing you guys in future videos very soon. If you want to see more about widgets, how to customize your iPhone icons, how to place apps anywhere you want, anything home screen customization related stay tuned I will have so many more videos on that so let's get started here are some of the top widgets that I picked for this video all right so the first one is called usage now this is a cool widget because it lets you see what percent of your iPhone storage is being used or your processor so you could just click on it and it tells you how much RAM your iPhone is using so for example right now I'm using 63 percent of the RAM on my iPhone and what's pretty cool is I can have it set to update every 5 seconds or every 10 seconds or every second depending on how much I want to have my phone battery die. So it's really cool you can configure like how much power the widgets use. So this one's going to update pretty much every like 5 seconds. Um, this one is a cool widget for storage. You can see that's what this one is. It tells me I've got 36 gigabytes free and then 27 gigabytes used. So these two are actually the same app and they are very cool widgets. The next cool widget is called Money Coach. You can set photos of a money goal that you want and on top of that it can tell you how many days left you have to reach this goal. Now this is just the stock widget and what's cool is when you get the app it lets you put in like you know, your monthly rent, it basically, you set a budget and then you are able to, I believe, hook this up to your debit card or your checking account, or you can enter it manually and it will take all your financial data in the sense that like it knows how much you spend, how much you save, and you can portion certain amounts of money towards certain financial goals. Now, this one is just the example. I didn't set this. This is just the stock one, but I'm pretty sure you can edit the photo. You know, maybe you're saving up for a new iPhone. You can have a little Apple logo there instead. So not only is the photo a cool way to customize your home screen, but you also have a constant reminder, you know, something to motivate you to save towards that goal. Another cool widget is color widgets. Now, this one's super dope because when you click on it, you can customize the way your widgets look. So you can choose a small one or a large one. You can choose if it's colored or light or dark. Now, what I really like is there are different types and different styles. So you can find one that you like. Maybe you like this one with the, you know, this type of background. You can tap on edit a widget and you can see you get this cool look. And of course, you can see that this is the widget I have selected. Now, by the way, if you ever want to add a widget to the home screen, all you got to do is hold down on any blank space on the home screen, tap the plus button, and then you're just going to want to search the app that you want. So, for example, let's just say you want the Shrek Shrine. For example, that's in the Photo Box widget. And by the way, Photo Box is a really cool widget. It lets you set just any photo on your home screen. So it actually lets you edit photos as well. So Photo Box counts as one of the... Uh, widgets on the list so you could see um, you know just totally ignoring this photo you could just add it to your home screen and you can see you can have any image you want so I'm assuming you probably don't want this image so you can just so you can just select an image from your phone and well uh, uh yeah I don't really have a this phone is for personal use let's just say that anyway we're just gonna remove that um, yeah, so that's that. Another cool widget is the Google widget. So this is something I really like. I showed this off in one of my other videos just talking about, you know, the new iOS 14 update. So this one's cool because all you got to do is just tap it and it immediately brings you up to the Google search. So for example, if you have something you want to search up, you can search it incredibly fast. And they also offer small widgets and large widgets. And of course, just in case you guys don't know how to choose if you want a small widget or a large, large widget, 
all you got to do is hold down anywhere on your home screen to click the plus button and you just search for example Google right you go to the app and it'll tell you which widgets that it has available now what I really like about some of these widgets is they are what I would call dynamic they let you choose um, if you want to have night mode or dark mode so that's really cool that's something I like whereas this one you got to actually manually change it so that kind of stinks another cool widget that isn't even really from the app store all this is is just a Siri shortcut is just the fact that you can set a Siri shortcut as like a tile on your phone so I have mine just to literally open up the music app um, you can see right here pretty pretty cool so um, definitely a nice quick and easy way to open up an app if you don't want to have like a cluster of apps right here so something that's definitely welcome and what's cool about the Siri shortcuts is um, if you go inside the shortcuts app tap on the edit button for the shortcut you can have it instead of opening an app you can have it so that way it can run certain commands or it could turn on and off night mode like there are so many options here so that's what's super duper dope about this but also something I want to show you guys is you can change the color of these as well so maybe you want you know the music app to be a gray color boom you just click done and then now your music app should be gray so that's what's super cool about this is you can customize a little bit about how your home screen looks another cool widget is called weatherline this lets you uh, view the weather in a nice easily to view format it tells you the weather for the certain times of day and of course you can also have a larger widget as well like I showed earlier you can have a larger one that displays more of the information across the screen another cool widget is called widget smith now widget smith lets you custom create your own widgets so what's great about this is I'm gonna have my own separate tutorial on how to use this but long story short you can create small widgets medium sized and like really large widgets so this is pretty dope you can go ahead and you can just tap on the small widget you can choose a certain time that it will rotate throughout different widgets but you can choose if you want to have it show the time or if you want to have it show the temperature you know have it show your like apple watch activity you can have it show a bunch of other stuff like that um, moon phases or just a photo from your photo album so overall pretty cool things like that you can also choose the color so it's just a really cool way to get like a custom clock on your iphone super duper dope now guys, before I end this video, I just want to let you guys know I already have a ton of videos on how to make custom app icons, how you can customize your home screen, and on top of that, I've got videos covering iOS 14. But if you guys would hit the subscribe button, that would be awesome because I'm going to be making so many more iOS 14 related videos, so you're definitely not going to want to miss out. So I'll be having so many iOS 14 videos in the future. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about the home screen, everything you need to know about widgets. It's going to be dope. So don't miss out by not clicking that button. So that's about it for today. Much more videos are coming your way. And as always, peace.